everyone and welcome back to my channel for my English Gen Gaming. Devs are the developers who brought you Dead by Daylight and they have brought you a new video so I've just completely ripped it from their channel so I don't know any rights to this I'm just saying now holding my hands up right now um, but they have, they have brought some really good content for us they brought a new killer called the nurse they brought a new map called the asylum and they brought some a, a new survivor called uh, Nia or Neva or some, uh, some Swedish sort of thing but it is really good so um, you know drop the comments down below let me know what you think and uh, let's uh, get on with this video Insanity is something odd, something that you're not really able to grasp until you've stared it in the eye, either in the eye of a mad killer or in your own reflection. Welcome to the Asylum. Nowadays, the Asylum is a shadow of its former self. Long ago, the Crotus Pren Asylum held violent and twisted minds that scared even the most seasoned physician. Today, it is part of the realm of the entity, where survivors only get a taste of what patients endured every day. The nurse is a former orderly that worked day and night with the most distorted minds ever encountered. But now she roams the realms of the entity searching for survivors. The nurse uses an old bone saw as her main weapon, stabbing at anything that crosses her path. It inflicts not just pain, but also horror, as you know what it's been used for. The nurse's power is called Blink, which makes her able to teleport in a straight line. She can cross through walls, survivors, and other objects. With a little skill, you can even chain several smaller Blinks to travel even longer distances. The nurse has grown accustomed to blood, and she can sense and feel an injured survivor from afar. So try not to get hurt and whether you should help someone or not is not an easy call. The nurse comes with three perks, and the first one is called Stridor. Stridor makes breathing even more audible as survivors get hurt. So even if you manage to flee after you got hit, it's easier for the nurse to find you. The second perk is Fanatophobia. Every time a survivor is hooked, dying, or injured, Survivors are punished by slowing down, sabotaging, repairing, and healing. This forces survivors to work as a team. The third and final perk is a nurse's calling. This unlocks the potential in the nurse's aura reading capability. So all survivors trying to heal or are being healed have stronger auras, making you easy prey as you tend to your wounds. Nia is of Swedish descent and is a tagger and a bit of a troublemaker. In her early teens, she started to rebel, and her parents felt that she lacks that thing that makes everyone else normal. But as history has taught us, this is just a case of parents that just don't understand. Nia has spent a lot of time on skateboards and dodging cops, so she's used to moving fast without being seen, and she has the balance of an alley cat. Nia comes with three perks, where the first one is Balanced Landing. As Nia falls long distances, she doesn't lose her balance. This makes fleeing even easier, as she can just keep going after a drop. The second perk is Urban Evasion. Nia's walking speed in crouch mode is increased. This makes it easier for her to sneak away fast, but still remain hidden. The third and last perk is Streetwise. Nia's consumption rate of items is reduced, making everything last a bit longer. As you enter the asylum, it might take a while until your mind adjusts. After that, it's up to you to figure out if you're part of the staff or one of the patients. The last breath is released on the 18th of August. Let us know in the comments what you think about it 